So I thought to myself, is there anybody who is consciously trying to learn not just about nature? We've, but for 300 years, we've been learning about nature, Western science. Is there anybody who's systematically and consciously trying to learn from nature? In other words, to study the designs in nature and the processes in nature in order to find better ways to do things. And in fact, once I started asking that question, I found lots of people who were learning from nature. I found people who, um, in order to design a better kind of agriculture, they were studying the prairie. And in order to design a fiber, to make fiber, or to make ceramics in a way that is non-toxic and is done in water and at room temperature, they were studying spiders who make an incredibly strong silk that's five times stronger ounce for ounce than steel. And they were studying abalone shell to make a new ceramic that's made basically in seawater at room temperature. Um, people who were looking for new drug plants were actually following animals around the jungle and the forests and in the sea to see what they did when they were sick. And if an animal went to a particular plant and ate it and regained their health, they looked at that plant for, for drugs. In the field of energy, I talked to people who are finally studying the leaf and how the leaf manages to lasso solar energy and turn it into sugar. And we've never, we've never looked at photosynthesis as a model for a new kind of solar cell. And in fact, it's, it's a very effective model. So I talked to people who are doing that. I talked to people in computing who, to find a better way to compute, they're actually asking cells how cells compute, how every cell in our body is essentially a very sophisticated computer that takes in a lot of signals, and then based on those signals, computes an answer. The answer might be pump out more sugar, or run, there's a fire. But each cell in our body is a computer, except it doesn't compute like we do. It computes physically, shapes, molecules, jigsawing together. So they're, they're studying the cell as a new model for a, a computing that goes beyond digital zeros and ones, silicon, and electrons traveling on wires. In the world of business, I talk to the people who are investigating a field called industrial ecology. And what that is, it sounds like an oxymoron, but what that is is finding a way to behave more like these beautiful ecosystems that I've studied, the mature forest, the coral reef, the prairie, finding a way for our businesses, our economies, to operate in a more closed loop way with more feedbacks, actually enhancing the earth and the people on earth rather than depleting them. So it's the core idea behind biomimicry is that life has been on Earth for 3.8 billion years. And in that time, life has learned to capture solar energy, fly, circumnavigate the globe, live on the top of Everest, live at the bottom of the ocean, make miracle materials, care for its young, all while creating conditions conducive to life. So the biomimics, these are people who are studying in the fertile crescent between biology and human systems design. And they're saying, biologists and ecologists, thousands and thousands and thousands of them, are meeting at conferences right now, tens of thousands. And what are they talking about? 
They're talking about how life has managed to live without destroying its place. At the same time, there are tens of thousands of business people, human systems designers, engineers, policymakers, who are meeting to try to decide how can we live on Earth without destroying it. <laughs> These two people should get together. These two groups should meet in the same hotel and bump into each other in the corridors. And that's what biomimicry is about. It's about tilting our worldview so that the metaphors and the ideas, the practical ideas from biology, flow into human systems design. The reason is that the ideas that have been worked out over 3.8 billion years of evolution are time tested. They're field tested. They're tested, they've been tested and proven successful on the very same earth on which we're trying to make our materials, grow our food, harness solar energy, care for our young. They're on the same earth, same operating conditions. Thank mm -hmm. you.